Okay, so for this problem, I'm given a derivative, v prime of t, and the following instructions. So use the power rule and linearity of the derivative to find a function that has the given derivative. So essentially, I'm given v prime of t, and I want to use the power rule and linearity to find v of t. So let me start by rewriting v prime a little bit. Just going to add a zero. So those two things are the same, right? And now let's think about the power rule. So the power rule says if I have some function ax to the n, where a is just a constant and then n is the exponent, the derivative of that is going to be n a times x to the n minus 1. So I can apply that to my derivative and work backwards. Well, the easiest thing to identify is going to be the exponent. So I know the exponent in v of t is going to be one more than the exponent of v of t in v prime. So if my exponent in v prime is 4, I'm going to have v of t equals some constant times t to the fifth. And then I want to deal with this 0. So what if n is 0 here? So I have just f of x equals a. That derivative is going to be 0. So if I have a plus 0 here, I need to add some constant over here. We don't really have a way of telling what it is, so I'm just going to call it c. Now let's work on finding our a. Well, I know that in the power rule, the coefficient for x is n times a. Well, I know what my n is. It's 5. So I just need to rewrite this in a way that I can find my a. So let me go and pull a 5 out of that negative 40 t to the fourth. Well, now I just need to think about what times 5 makes negative 40. And it's negative 8. So that's going to give me my a. I'll throw it in the blank over here. And I get v of t equals negative 8 t to the fifth plus some constant c.